Yo, what's going on? Major Declan Rice news, ladies and gentlemen. Major Declan Rice news. Stay tuned for that. In addition to that, we're going to be talking about Timber to Arsenal as that deal gets closer and closer to getting done. As reportedly, Arsenal have agreed personal terms with Timber. And now we just need to finalize an agreement with Ajax. There's also some rumors about Thomas Partey potentially leaving Arsenal. Could it just mean that Thomas Partey is destined to leave, Granit Xhaka is destined to leave, and Declan Rice, Lavia, Havertz, and Timber could be joining Arsenal? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As Manchester City were reported to be those sharks coming after us for Declan Rice. But guess what? Reports are coming out that he prefers Arsenal. We're going to get into this all now, plus more. Continue to hit that goddamn like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you think Declan Rice is going to join Arsenal, let me know in the comment section. And if you think he's going to join Man City or somewhere else, let me know. Because I think he only wants to be a gooner. Let's get the show started. Here we go. Hey, 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 people, what's going on? It's the Kitty G on EJTV. Oh, it's Egal Talks Football. If you don't know, that's my old channel, but I changed the name. Let's get into it, guys. We got a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. First things first, we got to talk about this. This was the report a couple days ago, I think Thursday night, that Man City are close to buying Declan Rice from West Ham, and they're confident that the total agreement will be found. It is currently 5 p.m., 5 p.m. right now, uh, on, on Saturday, the 24th of June. It's been a full, not one, not two, but three days since that report was originally announced and not yet any bid from Manchester City. Now let's continue. The reason why there's no bid for Manchester City, why is there no bid for Manchester City? Let me explain. The reason why there's no bid for Manchester City is right here, is because Manchester City are reportedly... West Ham are, are eager to get a third bid from Manchester City as they want to get the deal done. But why is it that they want to get the deal done? Reportedly, Arteta has been doing a lot of work to make this deal happen, pushing over the last couple of days. And Declan Rice just wants to join Arsenal. There, there are, so this is what they're saying. There are uh, concerns in the part of the... Uh, there are critical parts of the story to be mentioned. The player has made it clear that he understands that he wants to... Uh, a move to Arsenal and Manchester City will do in the next days. The critical part of the story is that Arteta is pushing to get the deal done. Rice uh, is trying uh, to every single way, of course, uh, and it does depend on it does depend on him. It depends on the owner on how much they want to spend on the deal. But of course, Arteta is trying his best to push Rice to join Arsenal and Arsenal. Arteta could be a crucial part. If Declan Rice wants to play at Arsenal, trust me, Arteta will be a crucial part. This is what he was talking about on his, Fabrizio Romano was talking about. But we already know this. Arteta is a crucial part to the deal. We already know this. But this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Apparently, this was last night. Arsenal are confident that they're going to uh, submit another bid. And this time, hopefully, the bid will be respect uh, will be accepted, as our last bid was rejected. But Man City are prepared to offer uh, an official bid. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. So, Man City haven't officially bid their official bid yet. Man City haven't even done anything yet. This whole thing about Man City, Man City, Man City. I'm not worried about Man City yet. Is that is is that crazy? Is that crazy to say I'm not worried about Man City yet? Because they haven't officially bid yet. At this moment in time, Man City have not officially bid. We are worried about nothing at this moment in time. Why are we worried? There's even reports coming out today from Talk Sport stating that reportedly that Declan Rice is eager to join Arsenal and West Ham are encouraging us to submit a third bid to try to get this saga ended. Why would they be encouraging us to submit a bid to get the saga ended? Is it because they know that Manchester City might not be doing much? 
like let's be honest they are holding talks with man city as being reported here man city have held talks but there's no formal bid yet from manchester city this whole thing that man city are going to take the player man city are going to take the player once man city enter a race arsenal leave that's not the case that's not the case ladies and gentlemen reportedly that's not the case so at this moment in time just to give you guys an update on everything that's going on declan rice to Arsenal is still on. It seems like Manchester City are interested in the player, but they have not yet to be agreed and been given the green light from Declan Rice, as he still wants and prefers to join Arsenal Football Club over Manchester City. Now, ex-West Ham employee, who is one of the biggest West Ham sources in world football is is going to give us another update and this is what he said on his patreon we can confirm that man city held talks with west ham over the sale of declan rice but not yet lodged any official bid it was very clear that declan rice favors a move to arsenal so declan rice wants to join arsenal ladies and gentlemen and the main reason why he wants to join Arsenal, as reported by Fabrizio Romano, is due to Mikel Arteta and, of course, all the groundwork that we put into the deal. Now, remember when I said something wasn't adding up the other day? This is why. Because this whole time, reportedly, that he wanted to stay in London, he wanted to get the deal done, and out of nowhere, all these reports were coming out that, oh, no, 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 things changed. He doesn't want to, he doesn't, he doesn't care about London at all. All of a sudden, he wants to go to Manchester City. Deal's going to get done in a couple hours. No, that never made sense. It was, everything was just moving way too fast and there, the numbers weren't adding up. The numbers weren't adding up. Things were happening too quickly and it just never made sense. So at this moment in time, Declan Rice to Arsenal is on. He seems to, uh, he seems to want the bid. Uh, he he seems to want the move. Arsenal are imminent to make a third bid, as reported uh, 20 hours ago. And Declan Rice to Arsenal, the huge news of the day is that he has basically told Arsenal that he would prefer to join Arsenal over Manchester City. So if we can agree a fee with West Ham, the same amount of fee built for the two clubs, he will join Arsenal over Manchester City. Hence, he would reject Manchester City for Arsenal. Declan Rice has made it clear that he will reject Manchester City for Arsenal if all things are the same for, for West Ham, of course, on the West Ham side of things. We've already agreed personal terms with the player. Manchester City have not been able to agree anything with the player. Hence, they haven't submitted a bid yet. We're currently up right now. Let's go, people. Come on, people. Throw your questions, comments, and concerns in the chat. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This is massive, massive, massive news. I am very, very excited at this moment in time that this is going to happen. I do believe Declan Rice will be an Arsenal player, as my boy Gunnar Lee said yes uh, the other day on the panel show. So please do check out the panel show if you haven't already done that. But yeah, there is some other news to also talk about. So yeah, that is the news for, for, for Declan Rice at this moment in time. So it does seem like he might be rejecting Manchester City for Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, so next, uh, Saudi Arabia have approached Thomas Partey and there are still no firm bids for the player. But it, in initial conversations are happening and it's understood that pi Thomas Partey is a priority to rem uh, Thomas Partey's priorities to remain in European football. Arsenal would be open to letting him go, as revealed a week ago. No talks over a new deal. So Arsenal will not be giving Thomas Partey a new deal. It does make sense that we move him on if we're not going to be giving him a new deal. But at this moment in time, Arsenal Football Club look like they will be looking to sell Thomas Partey. And I wouldn't be surprised if we sold Thomas Partey. He did have a dip in the business end of the season. Let me know, would you guys be, still be open to have Thomas Partey? If we were to sell Thomas Partey and we bring in Kai Havertz, Lavia, and Declan Rice, I'm okay with that at this moment in time because I see that Thomas Partey will not be getting as much game time. And I do think Jorginho will still be a big part of the midfield, even with Granit Xhaka and Partey leaving, Jorginho will still be around. Elneny will not be a factor, ladies and gentlemen. So anyone who's saying, oh, we still have Elneny, no, calm down. That's not our issue at this moment in time. But yeah, Thomas Partey does seem like he is getting closer and closer to a move away from the club. And this is not the first time that it's been reported. Now, uh, there was other. Uh, there was another source here. This was an OG source uh, who used to tweet all the time, well in the know in the Arsenal camp, saying that West Ham are ready for a deal. Put, uh, 
press uh, more cash up front and enable us to, to pay the potential uh, incoming player. They have set a verbal agreement and no concrete bid from CT in the game game of chicken might be over, might have run its course, fingers crossed. So basically he's just saying that it, Arsenal submit a bid, Man City haven't yet joined the race. This saga could potentially be over. Nothing different from what everyone else is saying at this moment in time. But yeah, let's talk about Timber. I'm yelling Timber, we're gonna move. We're going down. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but I got some good news about Timber. I feel like the Timber deal, after the Declan Rice deal, might be the next one to get done. Because at this moment in time, we keep hearing reports that Timber this, Timber that, Timber this, Timber that. Eurolad, I think, was the, the one that I seen uh, report on it yesterday. Eurolad was talking about Timber. And the reports coming out about Timber are very interesting because it does seem like everything is progressing quite quickly with the Timber deal. Now, let me just tell you guys something. Timber, we bidded 30 million, uh, 30 million pounds for him just the other day, and we have not yet had an official bid accepted or anything, but it's understood, it is understood that Ajax won around potentially 50 million. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that one. But Timber to Arsenal is something that is viewed can get done quite quickly. There's a lot of different reports about Timber. We're going to have to wait and see what uh, what actually takes place with the Timber deal. But at this moment in time, this was the most recent report four hours ago talking about Timber. And it does excite me because I think this deal can get done very soon. Arsenal and Ajax are still in negotiation about a fee. Timber has also been promised to, uh, to think along. So there is an agreement there. Uh, let's let him leave. Ajax have agreed to let him leave. Fixed transfer fee. Ajax bet on 60 million euros. I don't think we're going to give them 60 million euros, but they think they will come between 40 to uh, 40 to 50 uh, million euros. I think 45 million uh, euros, we can get the deal done. That's including some add-ons. So hopefully we can get the deal done with some add-ons. Timber, um, everyone keeps saying it's close, it's close, it's close. The reality is we're close to agreeing a fee. The deal is not yet close to being done. So that is the situation at this moment in time. The timber deal does seem close. So yeah, that is a quick little synopsis of everything that's going on at this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen. No real update on Lavia. No, Casado is closer to Chelsea, but no real update to Arsenal with them. Declan Rice has made it clear that he wants to join Arsenal over Manchester City. So let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, Timber does seem to be closer and closer to Arsenal, but yet no full agreement with the club. So we're going to have to see. And Thomas Partey's exit. There's so much news about Thomas Partey's exit that I do believe he will be leaving Arsenal. So let me know what you guys think about that. Question, comments, and concerns in the chat right now. Let me know if you've gotten up to this part of the video by, by saying the word no. Tell me what your favorite color is if you've gotten to this part of the video because you're an absolute legend and I'm going to make sure I respond to your comment and leave any comment that you want after that. But big up to every single one of you guys. Continue to hit that goddamn like button. Continue to hit that subscribe button. And Declan Rice is going to be an Arsenal player, ladies and gentlemen. I am telling you, he will be joining Arsenal. And if you want to clip this up, clip it up. Declan Rice will be an Arsenal player by the end of the transfer window. I am starting to believe it more and more and more than ever before. And I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Here we go.